Good evening, John. The instructor is waiting for you. Just go straight on through those doors behind me. You can open a door. How you doing, John? Let's start with some target practice. Join me on the other side of that door. Okay, first you'll need a gun. I've placed a 9mm pistol in this bin. You can open the bin by actioning on it. Pick up the gun inside by moving near it. Try it now. Make sure you look. You can look around using the C-stick. You have 10 bullets in this gun. The more accurate you're shooting, the higher the score you'll get. Give it a go. Ooh, unlucky. That was almost a perfect score. Okay, let's... Let's try out a submachine gun. Same rules apply. The gun is in the bin. Take it now. This weapon is less accurate, unless you use the manual target, but it has a much greater rate of fire. Ooh, unlucky. That was almost a perfect score. Okay, let's... Okay, in this bin is an assault rifle. With this weapon, you can zoom in on your target by squeezing the manual target button. Try it out. Notice that this weapon requires a different caliber of ammunition than the two previous weapons. Same rules apply. Whenever you're ready, John. Ooh, unlucky. That was almost a perfect score. Okay. In this bin, we have the sniper rifle. This allows you to zoom in extremely close in your target, so I'll be expecting a perfect score. Score, John. Well done. Okay, let's move on. You are now carrying all four weapons in your inventory. You can change weapons by using the control pad. Pressing up and down on the control pad will quickly cycle through the weapons you're carrying. Pressing left and right on the control pad will bring up an inventory screen, allowing you to see what items you're carrying. From here, you can select what you want by scrolling up and down and then pressing action. Notice that you have two inventory screens. One is for weapons, and the other is for items. The control pad will toggle between the two. Try this now. Good. In the next room, we have a shooting gallery. Boards will pop up with either criminals or civilians on them. You'll score one point for every bad guy you shoot, but you'll lose one point for every civilian you hit. The test is over when you reach a score of 10. In the bin in front of me, you can collect some new ammo. If you run out of ammo, come back here and we'll reset the course. Whenever you're ready, John. Okay, the test... John, that's a respectable time. Okay, let's move on. What? Okay, John, if you could put all your weapons into this bin by pressing action on it. Thanks. Okay, next up is the obstacle course. Let's see how agile you are. Climb this ladder by walking into it. At the top, you want to make your way across this beam. Some people find it easier by crawling along their belly. Okay, you've just performed. Well done. Okay, there's a crash mat down there. If you run off the edge of this platform, you will automatically jump. This will help you reach. You can jump whenever you want to by pressing the jump button. Climb these steps by walking into them and jumping. Well done. It's sometimes easier to use the auto jump. Good, and again. Okay, get across this gap by using the moving platform. Good, now run down these steps. You will have to crouch to get under this barrier. 
Okay, now jump over this. This gap is too small to crouch under, but you can get under it by going prone. To go... Okay, John, you... John, let's try you out against some human opposition. In the next room, there are five instructors who have taken cover. In this training section, you've got to make it to the exit without getting shot. If you get shot, return back to the beginning and we'll reset the course. However, if you shoot any of the instructors, they will be eliminated from the course. Because we're dealing with real people here, John, we'll be using paintballs. You'll find a gun and some ammo in this bin. The course begins once you walk through these doors. Congratulations, John. That's all of them. Sometimes you will encounter insurmountable odds in the line of duty. But being one of the good guys, you can even out these odds by using what I like to call hero time. This will give you faster reflexes than your opponents for a set period of time. Normally you would earn hero points by doing good deeds, but for the purpose of this test, you'll be given some at the start. When you enter the next room, a group of instructors will attack you. Simply shoot all of them before they shoot you. To trigger hero time, press your hero mode button. You'll stay in this mode until you run out of hero time. You can get some more paintballs from this bin. When you're ready, just step through the door. Okay, three, two, one, go. Excellent, you took them all out. Let's try the next test. Let's test your throwing arm. In this bin, you'll find 10 smoke grenades. And in the next room, you'll find five bins. You'll need to throw a grenade into each of those bins. When throwing a grenade, pressing the fire button will pull the pin out of the grenade. Releasing the fire button will throw the grenade. The longer you wait between pulling out the pin and releasing the grenade, the farther you will throw it. Okay, let's try it. couldn't do it any better. Okay, let's move on. Okay, John, if you could put all your weapons into this bin by pressing action on it. Okay, John, running in guns blazing isn't always the best way. Sometimes the subtle approach works better. The next exercise is to see how quiet you can be. There are two ways for you to move, action or stealthily. Pressing your stealth button will toggle between the two modes. Try this now. Pressing your stealth button will toggle between the two modes. Try this now. Good. And again. Good. Now when you're in stealth mode, you'll make less noise and are less likely to be seen. Unfortunately, you'll have to move slower to be quiet. If you punch or shoot in stealth mode, you will automatically change to an action mode and your cover will be blown. In the next room, there are various instructors and cameras patrolling and keeping watch. You must get from here to the exit door without being spotted. If you're spotted, return to the start and we'll try again. Enter the room when you're ready. You can avoid the camera above by staying behind it. If you had a silenced pistol, you could also shoot it out. It's important to always scout out the area before making a move. Duck behind the boxes and sidestep to look around without being spotted. Watch out, McLean. Laser trip beams ahead. If you touch one, you will trip the alarm. Good. Okay, let's move on.
Being a police officer, John, it's always better to capture someone alive if the opportunity arises. In the next room, we've set up a hostage scenario. There are a number of instructors in the next room guarding a couple of hostages. If any of the instructors spot you, they will shoot the hostages and you will fail the test. However, if you're stealthy, it's possible to approach the instructors without being spotted. Then, if they're not aware of you and you're close enough, it's possible to grab an instructor by pressing your grab button. This puts you in a good bargaining position to ensure the safe release of the hostages. Here's a useful tip. Not all the members of a gang carry the same importance. Always try to grab the leader. His men will look to him for guidance. Grabbing the leader will cause his men to stand down, but it's not over yet. They're still a threat until you cuff them. To cuff these men, pick up their weapons by moving near them. Don't let go of the leader until you've secured the rest of his gang. He's your bargaining power. That just leaves the leader. Normally, pressing the fire button would break his neck, but seeing as it's excellent, you secure the release of the hostages without any casualties or putting yourself in danger. Let's move. The last part of your training requires you to disarm three bombs. In the bin in front of me is a circuit breaking device. Take this now. In the bin in front of me is a circuit breaking device. Okay, now select this device from your inventory. Remember, this isn't a weapon, so it will appear in your items inventory. Select this now. In the final room, there are three suitcase bombs. As you approach them, you will be shown the code to disarm them. Enter this code into your circuit breaker by pressing the buttons. One final thing. Once you enter the first code, you will trigger a timer. You must enter the entire sequence before the timer reaches zero. Otherwise, boom. Congratulations, John. That concludes your report. Okay, John. If you could put all your weapons into this bin by pressing action on it. And hey, let's be careful out there. Hello, John. You all done? You can run through it again by going through the door behind me. Otherwise, you are free to leave. Have a nice day. Man, you look awful. A little white wine and some food, and then a night at the opera. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, I'm Dick Thornburg, reporting live for HEN, the Hollywood Entertainment Network where show business is your business. It's a beautiful day in Los Angeles and I can see the whole city from atop the Townsend Art Museum. Art patrons, city officials, and various other important LA personalities have gathered to witness this occasion. Piet Gruber, the son of the notorious criminal Hans Gruber, has returned to the city where his father met his demise. Piet, however, is here to return a painting recovered from one of his South American expeditions. Gruber maintains that this generous gesture is not a way to clear his family name, but an act of conscious art preservation. Gruber! Well, we're here at the presentation ceremony, which is just about to begin. Townsend curator Christoph von Leben is getting ready to speak to this excited crowd. Look at my Lucy. First day on the job, following in her old man's footsteps. Thank you all for joining us today as we return this wonderful work to its rightful place in the Townsend Art Museum. We've waited a long time to retrieve this piece, and we are so lucky that Mr. Piet Gruber rediscovered the Jacques through his dealings in South America. We'll let Mr. Gruber do the honors as he unveils the Jacques and hands it over to me as Townsend curator. Okay, Buzz, get some shots of the guests. The more skin, the better, if you know what I mean. Wait a sec. Isn't that the fitness instructor guy over there? Mm, frontier something or another. The guy with Gruber. It is with great pleasure that I give to you the Jacques masterpiece, Lakeside Nymphs. I've been assured by Mr. Von Leben that it will be rehung in its proper place and very well protected. Sure you have. But what about the thief that stole it? How were you able to obtain the painting so easily? We are very close to the perpetrator of the crime. 
I can assure you that the culprit will be brought to justice. What the? What the hell was that? Hey, buds, are you getting this? Gunshots? Lucy! Uh, everyone remain calm. There's, there's nothing to be alarmed about. And I always thought art was boring. This is Dick Thornburg live, and what started out as a lovely summer day has erupted into a maelstrom of blood and bullets. Buzz, are you getting this? I am risking my life here. Hey, McLean. This is gonna be fun. Man, we just need some details from you. What's your name? John. What the hell are you doing here? John McLean, CCPD. Can you tell me what happened? I really don't know. They just started shooting and everyone was running. Not really. I caught it on TV. Well, you know who's still in there? With the camera crew? It's that sleaze reporter. Dick Thornburg. Uh-huh. Well, he's your number one fan, eh, John? Terrific. You better go talk to Al. He's up by the entrance. Looking for my daughter? Lucy's here? Yes, sir. It was her first assignment. It seems she surprised the robbers. John, we've not heard anything from our people in there. Al, I know my Lucy is alive in there. When the alarm got tripped, seems they panicked. They grabbed a group of hostages and sealed themselves inside. We're cutting through now. So what you got in mind, John? I don't know if being Lucy's father makes it a good thing for you to be here. Look, Al, I'm not leaving. Now, I'm not in uniform, so if I get spotted, I'll just make like I was a guest who got lost. Oh, yeah. You look like a real art lover, McLean. Well, I've always been partial to the odd comic book. Sir, we're in. McLean? Don't try to stop me, Al. I was just gonna wish you luck. We'll be on the radio. Oh, shit. John, you there? Nah, I'm okay. Shit, the cops are breaking in! On my own. Hey, you got coming on. survive. I saw them take one of the cops hostage, too. A young woman. A young woman, you're sure? Yeah. They took her to the patio area at the far end of the courtyard. Thanks. Look, you wait here. Don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. I wouldn't use those as a It's true, where there's shit, there's flies. This is great. The best footage we've had in ages. Police massacres, foreign art benefactors. Get out of my face, dick. Look, let's work together on this. Give me an interview and I'll get you into the galleries. I know a way. Where's the rest of your film crew? Uh, they got shot. Occupational hazard. Well, what do you say? You couldn't broadcast what I'd say. Over there! Oops. I'd like to stay, but... He's here! Are you okay? 
okay? Yes, yes, I, I'm fine, since they didn't touch me. But, but my paintings, they're gone. We'll get them back. Now go and find somewhere to hide. Yeah, I can look after myself. Oh, this is award-winning stuff. I got a big close-up of the hug, father and daughter. Very touching. Dad, it's not worth it. It's over now. No. This is just the start. What? Once again, this is Dick Thornburg reporting with a story that will shock and amaze you about just how far a man will go for fame and fortune. While the aftermath of this morning's daring raid on the Townsend Art Museum is still being felt, I have uncovered the bizarre life behind one of its main perpetrators. Our story begins here, in the small town of DeKalb, Illinois. Self-conscious of his immigrant heritage, Jack Frontslavsky changed his name to Frontier and joined the army at the age of 18. Frontier had an affinity for action and it wasn't long before the CIA had him in their sights. Yes, our government used your taxpayers' money to train this man into a skilled and lethal operative for the best part of 10 years. But Frontier eventually grew bored with this lifestyle and quit the service. Craving something more fulfilling, he recorded an exercise training video. The result was called Train or Die, a militant aerobic routine to get those perfect abs. Yes, only in America, ladies and gentlemen. Train or Die was an overnight success, and the name Frontier became synonymous with training the rich and famous. Yet even this wasn't enough for the fitness freak. Frontier wanted to star in the very action movies he helped train people for. Eventually, he got his wish in Galaxy Thief as a Martian space mercenary. The film was a surprise sleeper hit, and soon Frontier found himself reprising his role in the inevitable sequel, Galaxy Thief 2. This time, the film bombed. Many critics specifically targeting Frontier's performance, stating that not even an alien would ever act in such a wooden way. For Galaxy Thief 3, the studio wasn't taking any chances. This time, they cast heartthrob Greg Castle, hanging Jack Frontier out to dry. Forever shunned by the Hollywood elite, Jack Frontier sank into a miserable depression, once attempting suicide. The table was truly turned, ladies and gentlemen, from being toast of the town to the most wanted man in Hollywood after this morning's vicious attack. Yet another tragic tale about falling stars and shattered Hollywood dreams. How far will one man go for his 15 minutes of fame and fortune? This is Dick Thornburg signing off for HEN, where show business is your business. You don't want to go down there. The blades are causing havoc. Plane? Head to Fat Larry's restaurant. Nobody messed with fire. Police officer, oh. drop it now. Whoa, 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 I'm the owner. I'm a Fat Larry. I nailed it in the show. You won't get far. Yeah, well, why don't you let me handle it from here? 
over. Take deep breaths. Scum like that should be strangled at birth. Calm down, your upsetting mind. If I'd had my gun on me... Everyone okay? This man here, I think he's shot in the leg. Hey, McLean here. I need an ambulance at the bank. Ah! They weren't very organized. It's like they just did it for a few cheap thrills. <sighs> I thought we were all dead. What a nightmare. There was nothing I could do to stop it. They weren't very organized. It's like they just did it for a few cheap thrills. Following the blood should lead you right to them, John. Look, I've done everything you've asked me to do. Now, why don't you please just... <laughs> Toledo. Somebody had some fun. You okay? I'm fine, but I'll be damned if I'm gonna clean this mess up. I don't suppose you saw an injured man come through here. Yeah, he was bleeding bad. He smashed a window and jumped out the back. Thanks. Wait here. Someone will be along in a moment. Thank you, officer. You need to go down to the station and fill out a report. Yes. Okay. Um, the station. Right. Um, well, you see, officer, they... I mean, I... Look, why don't we just forget it? I don't want to cause any trouble. Easy there, John. Hey, 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 hey. What you think, man? John, you've got nice to capture pet. one of them alive. Let's just fly, motherfucker. Take him for a spin. It looks nice. Who the fuck asked you? Hey, what sort of tie goes with this here? Shit, you don't want to wear no tie, man. What are you, an accountant? Well, maybe you ought to pick me out a shirt, since you a motherfucking fashion expert now. Hey, what's up? Hey, anybody strange come in here? No, but you want to hear something cool? <laughs> Only if you still stock 8-track. Um... We have a sale on Gangster Rat. Not what I'm looking for, thanks. Um, if you want the Gangster Rat, it's over there. Down below, like, below the counter. Hey, listen, I'm not interested in... Die, motherfucker! Oh, I get it. Yeah, very clever. Well, Larry will be pleased. You okay? <laughs> I am now, man. Take whatever you want, dude. No charge. Vinny's pool hall, meeting 3 p.m. Time to get your hustle on, John. 
plane, where are you? I'm at Vinyl Fantasy. You can tell Fat Larry I bagged his bad guy. I read you. We'll send over a van. I think you're gonna need more than one. I sense something big is going down. Roger that. Just keep us posted. Let them go, or your friend here is gonna lose his face. Do as he says. Put your gun down. That's better. What are you boys doing here? Hmm. Just window shopping. Yeah, window shopping with guns. Bad neighborhood, right? So who are those other guys? Who are you fighting with? What? What other guys? Unless you want to spend the rest of your life eating through a tube in your nose, I suggest you stop jerking me around. Whoa, hold on, homeboy. We don't know who they are, but they stepped up, so they gonna pay up. Sergio wants them dead. Yo, shut up, fool. Sergio, huh? Thanks for keeping quiet. Who's Sergio? He's nobody. Well, if he's nobody, then he's not worth losing your head over. Now, who is he? I think he runs a dry cleaners around here, so... What do you know? I don't know anything, man. You sure you got nothing for me? Hey, I'm not talking. You guys had better get out of here unless you want to be lead story. <clears throat> Just about my size. You guys had better get out of here unless you want to be lead story on tonight's. You're fucking dead! Not yet, asshole. Just shut the fuck up and get this shit loaded. Yeah, you just make sure no one- Hey, he just... Membership card. Here you go. What do you want here? Well, I ain't here to play pool. I'm delivering something for your boss. And who might that be? Sergio. Hmm. <laughs> okay, but I suggest you don't speak unless spoken to. They don't like new faces in here. Hey, what the fuck are you waiting for? You got the gear? Yep. Get a drink. Be with you in a minute. Well, what do you know? That's gotta be from the Townsend. Yo, when we sell this thing, we're gonna be able to buy the whole fucking neighborhood, man. We know there's more where this came from. Those fucking fools have been moving this shit to the Chinese cinema all day. I say, we go to the fucking movie. Let's see what Weedy's playing. Galaxy Thief 3? Well, Frontiers, they show films in here? What's he doing? Oh, that really chafes. You okay? Well, I am now, sweetie. Oh, but shh. The brutes that did this, they're still in here. 
They took the rest of my colleagues upstairs. Heaven knows what they're doing to them. Okay, well, I suggest you find someplace safe to wait. Oh, sure thing. Only in L.A. Shit, Smokey. That's very bad How are we for getting relieved? <laughs> oh, fuck! So, like, anyway, I'm telling her, like, I love her and all that. Uh -huh. And she's like, yeah, but I never see you. You're never here. Oh, I hear you. I mean, what more did she want? It's not like we're married. Yeah, but that's what she really wants, and believe me, you don't want to go down there. Hey, you don't have to tell me. I'm not making that mistake again. secure that banner is. We should be moving out soon. Good. The sooner we're out of here, the better. Right. I'm Officer John McClain, Century City Police Department. So, where are the other cops? It's just me. So I suggest for the time being, you all lie low. But what about Alfred, the projectionist? They took him away. Stay here. I'll find him. Some pranks I get. Good job. Well, I've seen better shooting. Once I knew a guy who could shoot the eye out of a flea before your hat hit the floor. Is that right? It sure is. Went by the name of the Frenchman. I think he was Polish, though. Never asked. I take it you're involved in all this? Now, those kids next door don't have no respect. I earned more when I was shining shoes. I knew a shoe shine boy who used bottled spit. Yeah, he couldn't spit himself, something to do with his glands or something. So he got his old lady to spit into a jar at the start of every day. You don't say. And your friends here? Mm, yeah, sure, I help them. Someone offers you more money than you make in a month, what do you do? But those no good double-crossing punks, they tried to stiff me. Well, what, what are you waiting for? So, uh, what sort of films do you like? Oh, I don't know. Good acting, well-written, and loads of huge explosions. I'd love to continue chatting, but I've got work to do. Well, okay, maybe another time.
move, John. Whoops, so much for the element of surprise. Ah! Where the hell did they go? Sneaky, very sneaky. What goes up must come down. This must be how they're moving the arc. I fucking hate cops. <laughs> another way. Well, 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 John. What do you know? Another vent. Jeez, what is that smell? Hmm, cozy little area. That's McLean. Kill him. So what are we gonna do with this painting? Whoa! It's in pieces. This leads to so Yeah, suppose you're right. Let's just stay sharp. We're gonna be out of here soon. This is the evident LIGO night vision. I think I can use this. I see you didn't miss your train. Whew. Uh, John, what are you doing? So where does this lead? Sneaky. the glamour of it all. What's going on? Where are you taking the paintings? Well, Raven, do us all a favor. Shut up. You want me to keep calm? This is madness! Let's go back. He's busy making some arrangements. Things have gotten out of hand, Frontier. The cops are on to us. I've got my reputation to sink. Von Leben. You'll be well rewarded. Okay, men. Let's get these paintings out of here. Pumped up testosterone fueled moron. Don't you realize how serious this is? Who changed the plans?
I'll let you get away with that once. Just once. And I'd ask yourself, what more do you have to offer us? I don't like anything about this. If I was you, I'd shut up and follow orders. Your usefulness is rapidly running out. This is the best gig I've had in years. Yeah, I worked with him before. Looper always pays up. I'm gonna blow my cut on a little partying, if you know what I'm saying. Good secure? We're nearly done. Remain on alert and await further instructions. Yes, sir. Rico, are you still there? Uh, yes. What happened? Uh, thought I heard something. Look, I've let Von Leben fall behind us. He's become a liability. Kill him. Roger, no problem. You sound a little hoarse. <coughs> I might be catching a cold. It's a little damp down here. Nah, don't worry, Rico. Soon you'll be lying on a beach earning 20%. I always wanted one of these. So, if you guys think you're out of this, you ain't. One bit of trouble and I'll kill you all. Shit. Hostages. Why do these guys always have hostages? You know, Bill, I never did understand why you stayed with the bitch for all of these years. I don't either. But she was like, you know, a friend. Friend? Ugh. What kind of friend runs off with your brother? Look, Chuck, just drop it. All I want to do is finish this job and go home. <laughs> Pussy. Thanks. Who are you? The name's John McLean, Century City PD. You saved our lives. Hey, pal, what happened? Wish I knew. They just rushed in and started grabbing people. There were dozens of them. Who were they? That's what I'm trying to find out. Sorry. That's all I remember. Back off! <laughs> start shooting! <laughs> doesn't work. You need an ignition. Bingo.
restoration and it'll be good as new. How did I get into this? What a fool I've been. This is not good. Not good at all. I should never have listened to him. Help! Help! Brandeer! I'm under attack! If you want to keep breathing, shut the fuck up. You got one chance to get out of this mess, and I'm it. You have got to be kidding me. Frontier wants to kill you. You think it's an accident you were left here alone? But I'll go to jail. Jail? Hell, I could care less. You want to get out of this alive? You'll come with me. I see you've saved one of the paintings from Frontier's thugs. It's beautiful, no? Lovely. Get moving, asshole. I don't suppose you have a key to this door. Yes, just a minute. Where does this lead? To the river, through the storm drains. Don't try anything clever, Levin. You know I can shoot the eye out of a flea before you can hit the floor with your hat. What? Now jump, quick, we're wasting time! Give me some room! Come on! Gotta get this open. Something tells me you shouldn't have done that. Take Von Leben from here. Watch out for his European charm. You know I've only got eyes for you, Dad. If you know what's good for you, you'll tell her what we need to know. Get your hands off me. Get used to it. The next guy to hold you is going to be your 300-pound cellmate. Nice detective work, Dad. Thanks. I'll catch up with you later. I got some showering to do. I wasn't going to mention that. See you back at the precinct.
too quiet around here. A calm before the storm. Take the cops out now. Their communications have been disabled. Excellent. Sweep the garage. There's no one here. Check. Well, check again. Proximity mines. Don't hurt me, I'm just the security guard. Shut up! Or you won't live to see the fireworks. So what's going on here? Thanks, man. These guys are crazy. Eh, don't mention it. Any idea how many there are? Too many. It's like an army. They rigged the whole place to blow. There are mines everywhere. Ugh. 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 Take my keys to the armory. You're gonna need all the help you can... Just once, I'd like to have a normal work day. A little filing, some coffee and donuts, no guns, no bombs, no hassle. Thank God it's you. How you holding up? Uh, I felt better, but I'll make it. Listen, they've hacked into the computer system. All communications are down. We can't call for reinforcements. Okay, hang in there. I'll try and get the computers back online. How? Where's I don't know. Blade? I'm making this up as I go I along. Know. They don't exactly let reporters have free reign around the police department. Thornburg, where there's trouble. You're not giving me any reason to keep you alive. I doesn't know anything. Just shoot him. No, wait. I I'm just an impartial reporter. I came down here for an exclusive. I mean, it's not every day when the curator of the Townsend Museum is arrested in connection with a high-profile art robbery. I was told I would get my interview when they'd finished interrogating him. As far as I know, he is still down there, being interviewed. He's lying. He was at the Townsend... <laughs> 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How can I repay you? Well, you can start by getting out of my face. What the hell are you doing here anyway? Trying to get an interview with von Leben. Exclusive, naturally. Tell me everything you know, and if you fuck with me, I will kill you myself. I heard them say that they've wired explosives to the two main entrance doors. They're booby-trapped. If anyone tries to get in from outside, boom. We'll have to deactivate them, but it's gonna take some time. Thornburg, don't move. I'm gonna handle this. McLean, do you really expect me to sit here and get killed by some mercenary? Fuck. It's hot in hell. Proximity uh, line. I will do this by your dog. How does it feel Drop your to be piece, on the other side or Al gets a new hole in his head? Al, how you doing? I'll survive. Nothing broken. Tougher than these fools realize. You sure? What was that noise? We've got more guests. I smell bacon. Ah. Hey, isn't that your brother? Some rats. No, 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 no! Please, no! Shut up. Animals. You're only getting what you deserve. Fuck! Can you stop that, John? Are you gonna tell me what I can No. Well, these things are beyond me. some kind of explosives expert. Lucy, what are you doing in there? Dad, is that you? Thank God. They've mined the door. If we try and open it, we're toast. Okay, move away from the door. Get yourself to the back of the room. I'm gonna shoot the glass out. Okay. Move it, Von Leben. Stupid girl. Gorb is going to kill us all. You're just prolonging the inevitable. Shut up and move. And try to be a bit more optimistic, huh? Look, I'm going to try smashing it with this chair. Stand back. Buckled slightly. Listen, try shooting the glass at exactly the same time that I hit it with the chair. Okay, on three. One, two, three! It worked! See what you can achieve with teamwork? What happened? Frontier shot him, took his interview transcript and a list of the stolen art. This isn't just about art, it's revenge on crazy. What are you talking about? Gruber. He has plans for you. 
and this entire city. Why should we trust you? You're his partner, after all. If I had known about his true intentions, I would have broken off our deal. All I wanted was paintings. <coughs> You're running out of time. Dad, we need to bypass the lock on the communications computer and deactivate the explosives. And we need those documents. It's our case. We're clear. Are you okay, cowboy? Yeah, but there's more where they came from. They've overrun the station. Don, we've got to get the communications computers back up or we're all screwed. I know. My technical skills are a little out of date. I still can't set the clock on my VCR. Yeah, that's about the level of my skill. But we need someone who can fix them. Hold on, there's that Dow character. We brought him in this morning. Yeah, he was caught hacking into his company's payroll. It seems this guy's got a talent with computers. Okay, well, let's see if Mr. Dowd can earn himself a reprieve. Keep me down on the hole, let's go. Uh, ow! Uh, oh! Whoa. Looks like you're not as tough as you thought. I guess not. Damn. Look, I'm okay. Let's go. Not this time. Look, you just rest here. Hell, after all those donuts, you just slow me down. Sorry, cowboy. Look, I'll keep an eye over the main entrance. And remember, just free Dowd. We've got some real crazies in the cells. No problem. This thing has turned into way more than an art robbery. Here's the keys to the holding cells. I'll try to patch up Von Leben. As soon as the doors are clear, I'll help you catch Frontier. What's going on up there, man? Who's doing all that shooting? What's your name? Look, there's been some mistake. I shouldn't be in here. Yeah, everyone's innocent. I asked you, what's your name? Uh, Herbert Dowd? The computer guy. Well, I suppose. Look, I didn't mean to access those files. Can you hack into the police computer system? That's illegal. I don't have time for moral arguments right now. Can you do it or not? Sure, no problem. Just take me to them. You should... another minute. Hurry. We don't have much time. Quiet. I need total silence to work. I thought geniuses worked fast. Look, man. I can go back in the cell if you want. All right, all right. Just keep typing. Ta-da! You know, this was really easy. We should get some more security. about explosives? Yeah, I know how to run the fuck away from them. That any help? <laughs> Shit. Why do I think I'll be safer here in my cell? What's going on up there, man? 
who's doing all Do you know anything about explosives? What, like the ones this building is wrapped in? Well, that'll do, for starters. Well, I should. I designed them. Well, I know two other things, Holmes. First, there's enough explosives here to flatten this building. And second, I'm the only motherfucker in this place who can disarm them. So you must be Nitric. And you're that local cop, John McLean. I thought you liked blowing the shit out of buildings, eh? Let me fill you in on something, Nitric. Right now, if those bombs blow, they'll take you out too. And I'm sure we wouldn't want that now, would we? So against my better judgment, I'm gonna let you out to disarm those bombs. Oh, and any quick move you might make would be your last. Don't worry about me, cop. Today is not a good day to die. Do your thing, man, but be quick. Don't try anything funny, Nitric. Got you in my sights. Put your pea shooter away, man. You're making me nervous. I know a secret way out, man. Come on, let me out. Waiting for. I'm waiting for you to stop breathing down my neck. No guarantees this could still blow. So get to the far side of the room where it's safe. Vamanos! Adios, amigos.
claim. Oh, wait. Hold on. Don't do anything until I get the camera. John McClane, we meet at last. Dad? And his daughter. This is perfect. Grab her. You'll never get away with this, Gordon. Oh, but I am. I am. Get her in the chopper. Lucy! Just a little insurance, that's all. I won't let Frontier damage her. Yet. You touch her, and you're a dead man! You hear me? Let's go. I'm right behind you, Gruber. Wait a second, McLean. You're not authorized to be here. Well, I'm not leaving until I get my little girl back. I got my orders, and Al said you weren't to be let in. Well, Al should know me better. Don't try and stop me. Shit. Welcome to the party, pal. How long until the air support arrives? Get over here and keep your head down. We got a sniper. He's on the balcony. We've already lost one man, but we can't get a clean shot. Damn it! We've got men down, and we can't get to them! I think you can get to the offices from the fourth zone. Where's Al and the rest of the team? Seems they caught some of Groover's boys. We can't reach them while that sniper's got us pinned down. I'll take care of the sniper. Take this key card. It'll open up the sound stage. What are you waiting for? Again, and I'm gonna fill it full of lead. Sir Johnston's not answering his radio. Go check on Will and stay sharp. I see any of you so much as Twitch, and it'll be the last thing you ever do. He's here. They would have killed us, wouldn't they? Yep. Listen. How do I get up to the office balcony? Balcony? He means the one by the studio head office. You can get to it from Studio 3. Take my key. It'll get you into the next studio. Nice outfit. Yes, this was supposed to be my big break. What the hell?
they used to. Are you scared? Come on. Hey, McLean, you there? Yeah, I read you. Your sniper won't be troubling you for uh, the rest of his life. Uh, understood. Okay, we're gonna do a sweep of the back lot. Can you cover us? Yeah, move out. Something on the roof. Makeup department. Uh, more footsteps above. There's one in the props department. All clear. Thanks, John. Guess we found the art. Should have been a lumberjack.
would just hold me in your arms until the sun comes up. I don't care if we never speak after that. But tonight... Mm -hmm. That block doesn't oh look secure. God! Someone could lose their trailer. Somebody help me! Ouch! Oh, I'm going to make sure that you Shit, are John, you're too late. Long. Actually, right on time. It's over. Jam Frontier has missed this. He always wanted to play the cowboy. But you're a regular cowboy. Is he okay? Yeah, he'll live. John, you shouldn't have been here. Look, Al, I can't sit around waiting to hear what's happened to Lucy. Yeah, well, you know that trailer you demolished? It contained Jesse Montana. Yeah, we met earlier. She's got a lot of clout, John. The studio's insurance company is going ape shit, and she's pressing assault charges. I hate to do this to you, man, but I gotta lock you up till we can clear this up. I need your badge and gun. Al, come on, Al. You can't be serious. I told you not to come here, McLean. You're too personally involved. Looks like you and Nitric are gonna have some more time to get to know each other. What's that smell? What do you care, McLean? Oh, no care at all. It's just that being locked up in this cesspool isn't getting any better with you turning into a goddamn fish market. Tuna. Yeah, I recently acquired the taste. Don't suppose you could acquire a taste for breath mints? Hey, you're a real funny guy. Let's see how hard you laugh when Frontier busts me out. Face it, fish boy. They're done with you. Screw you, McLean. You think they're just gonna leave me in here with you? No way, man. When they get here, all hell's gonna break loose. <laughs> right. I'm sure that'll be happening any minute now. Think about this, muchacho. When you're riding in here, I'll be with your daughter. Attention, this is the warden. The prison is under siege. All guards are advised to use whatever force necessary to bring the situation under control. I repeat, all officers are... What? What? Hey, who, who are you? See the morning. Great, just great. What is it with you, John? How can the same shit keep happening to the same guy? They've unlocked the Take cell doors. Take it easy, pal. I'm not gonna hurt you. What are you doing? Sorry, but I gotta go. They'll shoot you on sight.
Just relax, and I won't hurt you. What? to leave you here for now. You'll never get away with this. Caesar's finest tuna. Cigarettes. Now these are very bad for you. Yo, McLean. Got a smoke? Allow me. Hey, buddy. Need a light? Don't mind if I do. Yo, guards! This mattress guards, we reeks. got a fire here! Come on, man, let us out! Oh, this is a dumb idea, John. Did you see the guys they brought in from El Segundo? They get younger and uglier every day. What about the lowlifes from Block D? Total scum. I've got three kids. Guys, we gotta split. We just come from that way. No, I saw the guards down there, man. We gotta go this way. Come on, dude. Okay, okay, guys. Just let me come with you, man. Don't leave me alone. Hurry.
I'm on your side. Smokes. Hey, you goomba. I saw you smoking with McLean, you piece of shit. Look, Vinny, I told you. There's McLean. <laughs> <laughs> and we won't have to shoot you. I told you. I told you to get lost, my face. Hey, you all right? Yeah, I'll be okay. Those guys were after the morphine, but Sergio beat them to it. Was Nitric with them? I don't know, but they're all off to the execution chamber. They've got a taste for revenge. How do I get there? The quickest way is past the governor's office. Now, if they've locked the doors to the chamber, you could use a set of skeleton keys that he keeps in the safe. Thanks. You want a gun? No thanks. I'm supposed to save lives, not take them. Oh, you beauty. Hmm. Breezy. Oh, shit! I'm getting too old for this. You shouldn't have come in here, pig. Buddy, you okay? Yeah, thanks to you. Shit, I thought I was dead meat. But you're a prisoner? Only part-time, pal. I'm John McClain. I'm a cop. Thanks, John. 
Listen, there's a SWAT team about to come in. They take one look at you, dressed like that and carrying a gun. They're not gonna ask questions. Here, you better take my jacket. Hey, what about you? I'll be okay. Just need to get my breath back. We're gonna need backup. Sir, cell block A has been secured. Tell them to hold their positions. for you. All in a day's work for public enemy number one. Where'd Nitric go? He's waiting for a chopper on the roof. Follow me. You can go up this way. Okay. The roof's up there. I'll stay here. Thank you, McLean. The SWAT guys are making their way in this direction. Nitric. Did you want to finish this now? Where's Lucy? The art of conversation is dead.
Where's Lucy? Where's Lucy? Holmes eating tuna. Evaquero. Looks like I get the last laugh. Done your time. Let's get you out of here. Just following up a lead. Lead? What lead? Probably nothing, but Nitric sure liked his tuna. Tuna? What are you talking about? I don't need you getting into any more trouble, John. Jesse Montana has dropped her charges, but you know it's not the first talk you've stepped on. Hey, this isn't over until I get Lucy back. Look, cowboy, I don't have a choice here. So if you step out of line one more time, I'm taking you off the case. What was that last part, Al? You're breaking up. Stay out of trouble. Like this, you get a much steadier aim. Okay, I like it. Now I fire. The next, I'm somebody's target practice. How many guys are we talking about? Oh, man, I don't know. They just overran the place. Then these Japanese turned up on a boat. I'll do what I can. Find somewhere to lie low. What a mess. Intruder! up to. Zach, you tell him. Uh, some shipment arrived. They brought it in on a boat and, and they were unloading it by the docks. How do I get there? The easiest way is over the gantry. This key will get you in. Thanks. Oh, that guy there. 
He's dead, right? Gruba, you've done it again. These paintings far exceed my collection from the Rouvre heist. I hope you find RDX5 ample reward. Oh, I think so. Have you ever launched one of these? Gruba, treat it with respect. I wouldn't want to be within five blocks of that when it goes off. But of course, it's my baby and I have some very special plans for it. It has been pleasure doing business with you. Ah, you're just in time to meet Sumi Kazawa. Sumi, allow me to introduce my associate, Marlin. Marlin and I go way back. We have what you might call a special relationship. Had a special relationship. Now, we are strictly business. Exactly. It's a pleasure to meet you, Sumi. Ah, oh, an RDX-5. Marlin spent a lot of time in Russia, engaged in all manner of special operations. She knows her way around a big gun. Good eye. It is indeed Russian. It is fine rocket. I recognize the model. There's something beautiful about it. No? Hi, indeed. Time is tight. Thanks. Why would he do that? You okay? I'll be okay. They've got a rocket. Yeah, I saw. You better find somewhere safe to hide. I've got to get to that rocket. They'll kill you. They haven't killed me yet. Give up.
asbestos gloves. These could come in handy. How do I get across there? from the other side. No stopping you now, John. You guys all right? We are now. They brought the missile in. Where is it? In the next warehouse. We can get you into the warehouse using the crane. Okay, guys, lead the way. Good luck, man. Can you get up on that crate? Once you're on the container, I can lift you up. Gruber says we're about to move. But McLean's still somewhere out there. Pull your men back. We're going. Gotta get into that truck without being spotted. Welcome back. 
we have some breaking news regarding the Townsend art heist. This evening, the Century City Police Department recovered the remaining priceless paintings in an impressive raid on the city's docks. Although news of this retrieval will be a great relief to our city's many art lovers, this relief has now proved to be short-lived. In a shocking turn of events, Piet Gruber, son of the crazed robber Hans Gruber, has demanded one billion dollars from the city. If his demands are not met, Gruber promises to destroy the Los Angeles International Airport using a series of high-powered explosives. At this point, the preservation of human life is the primary concern of the police department and the FBI. We will, of course, be following the story closely on HEN, so don't go away. And now, a word from our sponsor, Jubilee Bright Toothpaste, because minty breath is just better. Stay quiet, John. Sounds cool. like I got company. Be here soon. Let's surprise.
this forces the door shut. There's another bit die. We need these moved to the launch area. Jack, turn on the forklift. We gotta get this fuel barrel down. It's a stupid place to start. If you ask me. I did do a good job, man. We're talking to you. Back to work. John, if you slip, they'll be picking you up with a shovel. you now. Oh, great. Nowhere left to go now. Seems to be the creeps. holding us up. We don't have enough fuel. Who's
drop your guns. It's over. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous, McLean. I'm not gonna ask again. You're too late. The ransom has been paid, and now I'm going to collect it. Do so much as twitch, and I'll fill you full of holes. I don't think so. Not while we have your little girl. Mason, it's over. You're finished. You and Gruber. Gruber? You think I care about Gruber? Ah, uh, McLean, once again, you fail to see the bigger picture. Marlin, look after our guest while I'm away. I'll be back with the money. Gladly. Please don't see me. Not really. Surprise. me if you can. Lady, I haven't chased a girl since prom night. Surprise. Surprise. You're too late. Lucy has no chance. Gruber will have his revenge. Where is she? He's taken her to where you killed his father. Nakatomi Plaza? He felt there was a certain poetry to it. John! John! You're okay. I thought we'd lost you there. Yeah, I'm fine. And I've got some good news. Oh yeah, what's that? You bringing me some donuts? <laughs> Close. Listen, their missile's not going anywhere. It's been deactivated. All right, cowboy, you did good. A nice time and the governor was about to have my ass. I'll put a stop to the cash and over. Wait, Al, don't hang up. You've got to stall him. Gruber might not know yet. And he's got Lucy. We can use this to our advantage. And four, cowboy, I'll take care of it. We'll do our best to stall him. You just get your ass over here. All bets are off, Gruber. McLean sabotaged the rocket. What? No! What does it take to kill that man? I don't know, but if you've got a backup plan, I suggest you implement it now. I'm on my way over. Deja vu. <laughs> yeah, I never thought they'd let me back here. Lucy's still alive. Gruber took her inside a few minutes ago. We haven't heard from him since. How much support does Gruber have? Lots. We sent a SWAT team in ten minutes ago, but we've lost contact. I got another team about to go in. John, you know this place better than the architect. Do you want to leave them? Let's do this. Moving in. Guard area. It's an ambush! It's a trap! What the hell is going on in there? Gonna need another SWAT team. 
Boomer's men were waiting for us. Don, stay put. We'll cut through the doors. I'm not waiting around while he's still got Lucy. I'm going in. Damn it, John. You'll both be killed. Now wait for backup. No can do, Al. Sorry. McLean, you are one stubborn asshole. You know that. We got one of the express elevators back online. Use it. Just don't get killed. Welcome to the 22nd floor. The Talk to me, Al. The elevator just stopped on the 22nd floor. What's going on? I hear you, John. The elevator wasn't stopped from down here. Groover must have regained control of it. Oh, great. Ah, John McLean. I've been expecting you. I'm sure you will appreciate the irony in my choice of location. This ending here, where it all began so many years ago, makes it all the more satisfying. Only this time, I'm afraid to say, it's your turn to die. Sorry, Gruber. I'm not planning on dying just yet. McLean, you are quite an irritating man and very hard to kill. However, this time I'm afraid there is no way out. There will be no last-minute escape. I was going to allow you the opportunity to say goodbye to your daughter, but seeing as how she will be joining you shortly anyway, what's the point? Fuck you, Gruber! You're a fucking dead man! Goodbye, Officer John McLean. have 15 seconds to live, McLean. Tick tock, tick tock, cowboy. What was that you said? Yippee ki motherfucker. Think, John, think! Shit! John, what's going on? The building's gonna need another paint job and a shitload of plate glass. Hey, it wasn't my fault this time. We were just blew some explosives. Look, special squad guys are here until I give the word. It's too dangerous. Okay, okay. They'll be on standby. I'll call you when I know more. Welcome to the 23rd floor. God damn it, give me an update. Now. Hey, have some patience. I'll explain it to you in person soon enough. Is that the cowboy? Is that the cowboy? Yeah, and I'm coming to kick your ass. Welcome to the toilet. <laughs> Four. Hmm. Can't blow up the same building twice, can you, John? Welcome to the 25th floor. Welcome to the 25th floor. This high-powered assault rifle. Wow! Oh. Oh, look what we got here. Somebody should find an engineer. Dangerous.
Hey, Jim. Planes here. McLean's here. the unexpected. Dad, be careful. Lucy! Just hold on, honey. I'm gonna He's get here. you out. If I move, I will die. Me. You ready to do this? You lead the way. After you. Lucy, I want you to stay here. This is between me and Gruber. Dad, I was trained for this. I'm not your little girl anymore. Lucy, you're always gonna be my little girl. So just do this for me and stay here. Okay, but I'll be ready to go. Hold it right there, McLean. Any closer and I'll blow your daughter to kingdom come. Well, well, well. If it isn't Piet Gruber in the flesh. So this is it, Gruber. Go ahead. Take your shot. I'm the one you want. You got a score to settle? Settle it now. McLean, this was never about revenge. My father barely said two words to me my entire childhood. You did me a favor by killing him. This is about money, McLean. The money which you will now get for me. You and I both know I can't do that. Face it. You've come to the end of the line, Gruber. It's over. I warned you, McLean. Now you'll pay. With your daughter's life. No, 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 die. Why don't you just die? Ah! Frontier, you goddamn coward. Come back here and help me. Nothing personal, Gruber, but you had it coming. Ah! Yep. 
Happy Kaye. Motherfucker. That's my girl. Thanks, McLean. You saved me a lot of aggravation. Sorry to leave you high and dry, but I've got a premiere to catch. This is a bad idea, John. Whoa! It's a really bad idea! Chief, it's Lucy. Gruber's dead, and his men have been taken out. Roger that. Man, you two made a mess. Get back down here. I want to meet you and John in five minutes. That could be a little tricky. Good evening once again. Dick Thornburg here, reporting to you live from the Holmes Observatory high in the Hollywood Hills. We're at the post party for tonight's premiere of Galaxy Thief 3. Greg Castle and his family have just arrived, looking relaxed and happy with the film's positive reception. Yes, folks, the Hollywood A-list has come out on this beautiful, starry night here in Los Angeles. Frankly, if you're not here, you're nobody. So stick with us and we'll be right back with Greg Castle himself in just a minute on HEN. Frontier doing Greg, here. Can I call you Greg? Sure. What can you tell us about Galaxy Thief 3? You're going to love it. Lots of battles, lots of aliens, lots of comedy, even a little romance. This film is going to redefine the comedy space mercenary And if we genre. could just talk about you. What was that? No. Hope you're on the get mines. Watch the mines, John. Watch the mines. Got me kidding me. issue circuit breaker. Now if I could just remember how to do this.
What happened? Frontier's men have overrun the place. They've wired up the building with explosives. Looks like he intends to kill everyone inside. How much explosives? They said they've planted five bombs. In suitcases. Here. Take my security keys. Do what you can. Thanks. Say, do you guys carry police radios? Yeah. Take it. I won't be needing it. Where I'm going. Al. Al, it's John. Come in, Al. John, where the hell are you? I'm up at the Holmes Observatory, and our old pal Frontier turned up with his army. We got a multiple hostage scenario, and they've rigged the building to blow. Okay, just sit tight. We're on our way. No time, Al. They're fortifying their positions. It could be all over by the time you get here. I've got to try to get into that building. Hey, now you just sit tight and wait for backup. Do you hear me, McLean? McLean? McLean! Sorry, old buddy, but I'm going in. Power's back on the telescope, and the rockets are now offline. Now to get inside the building. Another bomb? You'd be involved. Get down, Ow! lady! <sighs> she just fainted.
I'm in the East Exhibition Hall. We've secured the ground. Just give us the word to move in. I still Why are you doing this? The bombs. Shoot. Shoot. Thank you. You saved my life. Find somewhere safe. Stay put until the cavalry arrives. Sure thing. Okay. That's all the bombs taken care of. Show's over. It's just beginning. Nice work, cowboy. Another day, another building in ruins. <laughs> Congratulations, John. Thanks, Al. Where's Lucy? Is she all right? I'm fine, Dad. Just fine. Excuse me, are you John McClane? Who's asking? The John McClane? I'm Robert Barnes, head of development at Flyaway Pictures. I'd like to talk to you about movie rights. This is quite a story. Down and out cop saves the day with the help of his gun-toting daughter. Could make for a compelling movie. Thanks, but no thanks. Now, if you don't mind... Uh, maybe you're not hearing me. I'm willing to pay you big bucks for you your story. You heard the man. Now get out of his I'm face. I'm talking bright lights, starlets, big money. Don't be a fool, McLean. <laughs> 